Understanding Google's Timeline and Google's My Activity, I'm Huey Poplock. I received this email a few days ago, as I do every month, about my timeline. Let's look at it a little bit closer. You can't see it too much because it's a long email. So Huey, here's your new timeline update. You're receiving this email because you turned on Location History, a Google account level setting that creates timeline, a personal map of your visited places, routes, and trips. Your location history data can help you personalize Google experiences such as restaurant recommendations based on the places you've been. You can view, edit, and delete this data anytime in timeline. And then you can explore the timeline and I have the location history on. Let's move down the email. You'll see that I did uh, in April. I was in one region, which is the U.S. I visited five cities and 14 places. And I only drove 91 miles for the month. So I didn't go very far. Some of the places I visited was Bayshore Gardens, which is South Bradenton. Uh, this is just a generalized picture. It is not one of the places I visited. But these are, and that is uh, the uh, Target and uh, Cortez Road backed up in traffic and my favorite Grand Buffet, Chinese and other foods, as well as the Cortez Clam Factory. And it says it's a pizzeria, but it is uh, Ibis, which is a restaurant in South Sarasota. And you could see all visited places by clicking that button. I, since I didn't travel very far, I took a timeline uh, map from an earlier time period, but it shows each place where you go to each month, it will show you where you drove and how you got there. So you can choose and it will have several different maps for the month. This is the total. I've been to 48 cities, 636 places, uh, here in the U.S. I can manage my location history and I can go to the timeline. I will show you how to get to this in just a moment, but this shows you my timeline, shows you where I've been, all the cities I've been over a period of time. If I click on most visited, it will show on the bottom a list of the places I've been at the most. As I zoom in on the map, it will show dots at each of the locations for whatever reason I have been at. And the number of places that I visited, you can see that are also showing on the bottom of this. Activity controls. The data saved in your account helps you more personalized experiences across all Google services. You can choose which settings will save data in your Google account. And now I have location history on. You may have it turned off. However, uh, according to Google, these are the next three slides, will show some information from Google. Explore your timeline. Rediscover the places you've been and routes that you've traveled. What's location history? It helps you get useful information, for example, automatic commute predictions, improved search results by creating a private map of where you go with your logged in devices. Uh, you're in control. It's easy to change or delete locations, days, or your entire location history. You can turn it on or turn it off at any time. So in order to look at your timeline, and if you didn't get the email, you can go either to google.com slash maps or click on the three lines at the top left. If you click on those, you will get a menu next to the map. And if you, as you look down that menu, you're going to see where it says your timeline. When you click on it, it will take you to that. If you turn on extra verification, Google will make sure it's really you before you can see or delete your full history on my activity. This can help you keep your history safer on shared devices. This setting only applies to my activity. Your history will still appear in other Google products. I have it set not to require extra verification. Now, my activity. 
I discovered this when I was putting the feature together about the timeline. And there is such a thing as myactivity.google.com or google.com slash myactivity. Get to it either place. But what is it? The activity you keep helps Google make services more useful for you, helping you rediscover things you've searched for, read, or watched. You can see and delete your activity using the controls on the page. And this is the top of the page, and you'll see that I saw a video uh, from Bob G, and then I watched another video, and then I went to Outlook, and I looked at uh, my Samsung settings. Well, I guess it's all Samsung, Android. I looked at the calendar and so on. So I did several things. The X to the right, you can delete any item that's on your list. And when you do, it will say deletion complete. The activity you selected is permanently deleted from your account and no longer tied to you. Let's take a look at my Google activity. One thing about it is that you can filter by date and product. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, it goes back several years. Well, you don't want to scroll down day after day after day because it's going to take you forever if you use your computer a lot because it's going to show every place you've been and everything you've clicked on. So, but if you filter it by day and product, then you can hone in on the time period you're looking at and you can go try to go back as far as you can go. I clicked on this button on the filter and you can put the before and after date so you can take a time slice and see what you've done in that time slice. I took from May 12th to June 15th of 2022, a year ago. And you can see where I went and what I did, that time frame, at least a, a few of them, from June, starting at June 15th. I went to calendar, then I went to a couple of YouTubes, and so on. There are activity controls. The data saved in your account helps you give you more personalized experiences, but you can turn this on, you can turn it off, you can auto delete at a certain time, and you can delete from one period to another period. So some final words about the My Activity and the timeline. Google keeps My Activity data for up to 18 months, as I said, by default. However, users can delete specific activity or all activity from My Activity at any time. And here are the key details. My Activity stores data from various Google services like Search, YouTube, Maps, and so on. This includes search queries, videos watched, locations visited, and more. By default, as I mentioned, it saves it up to 18 months to provide personalized features and recommendations. Users can access their My Activity by visiting myactivity.google.com and logging into their Google account. From the My Activity page, users can delete specific activity, like a search query or location history, or delete all the activity within a specific time range. Deleting activity from My Activity removes it from Google Systems and will not be used for personalization going forward. However, Google does retain some activity data for operational purposes like detecting abuse and security threats. This data is not used for personalization. To check Google's My Activity on an Android phone, open the Google app and tap the profile icon on the top right corner. Then tap Manage Your Google Account and select Data and Personalization or something similar to that from the left sidebar or below, and under Activity Controls, select My Activity. This page shows a timeline of your activity history with Google, including searches, YouTube videos watched, location history, and more. You can filter the activity by date range and by Google service. You can also pause or delete specific activity or delete all activity to clear your timeline. This is what it looks like on my Android phone, which is a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Activity is on, my location history is on, and my YouTube history is on. And then as under today, 
uh, I viewed some cards and discover, in other words, I was looking for something. Then I used the search and then I viewed my timeline. I visited manager location history, uh, Google account help. Then I viewed the area around South Bradenton and I use the maps. There are X's next to each one of those in which you can remove them from your activities. On an iPhone, you can track some activity data, but don't forget it's not Google, it's an iPhone. So it does not by default keep track of all of your activities in a comprehensive manner. You would need additional hardware, settings changes, and apps to enable a more complete activity tracking on an iPhone. However, if you do use the Google on your iPhone, then you want to check your Google settings on that iPhone and see what information it is saving for you. This has been Understanding Google's Timeline and Google's My Activity. I'm Huey Poplock.